right guys, so today I'm going to give you a little bit of an update on the Archer fish tank. Uh, he's doing very well, the mangroves are doing very well. I'll show you the tank now. I added the manzanita wood recently to uh, let bugs crawl in there so he could shoot at them. He's only done it a few times, he's not super used to it, and he's not super used to me talking. So he's, you can see him back there, he's kind of hiding now. I, he was just eating, but I'm going to throw some crickets in there and see if I can get him to either shoot at him or just go crazy. But uh, the tank is doing well overall. Uh, there was a little bit of this algae that's building up on the bottom. Um, there are three narite snails in there and they do a pretty good job of controlling what's on the rocks and on the wood, and which isn't much. But uh, these live bears, the little, these are uh, native to, actually I don't know, I think they're just guppies. Yeah, these are just the guppies that I got with them. There's only two left, but I think that guppy is pregnant so she'll probably have babies. And I took the mollies out just because they seem to be bullying him, which is kind of weird, uh, just because he's a little bit bigger than them. But there are three of them, and I think they're all males, so it does make a little bit of sense. So this algae has grown a little bit on there. I'll siphon it out every once in a while. But as the tank is maturing, it looks like it's starting to die off a little bit or just not be as common. It's just coming back slower. So I'm going to grab a few crickets and then see if I can get him to go crazy. He knows what's going on. I'm just going to drop this one in there and see if he's hungry. I just fed him some pellets. Oh, does he see it? Uh, he's not really a big fan of the camera. But, no, it's not going to float back towards him either. Let's see, maybe if I toss this back there. And maybe. Oh, yeah. He'll usually eat them when they flow back there. But for the most part, he gets a little bit skittish when the camera comes out. So I'm going to try to set up a tripod, like right here or something like that, and then just throw a bunch of crickets on the wood and just film until he comes around and shoots at him. I've seen him do it once. And that was just because I had three or four of them on there and I went to study. And I saw it out of the corner of my eye, but it's pretty cool when he does do it. We got the, all the mangroves are growing really nice, really green. Um, I'm dosing, let me see, calcium, this calcium by Brightwell Aquatics. I used it for my coral uh, back when I had my nano tank. And fluval C magnesium, uh, just for the what are they called? The mangroves, they soak all that stuff up pretty fast, so you gotta stay on top of it a little bit. Mostly just during water changes, top offs, that kind of stuff. I have Brightwell Aquatics Magnesium, and that works just as well, but I bought the Fluval stuff, so I might as well be using it. Um, but yeah, soon I'll be bringing the light up a little bit more. Maybe uh, a few more weeks when these grow in a little bit more. This tank will eventually be, all of this stuff will be transferring over to. A 75 gallon this is a 40 gallon breeder right now. I'm going to be moving it downstairs uh, and then do a bigger 75 gallon. And when I do that, I will be getting more archers. And once the archers are big enough, like four or five inches maybe, I'll, uh, I'll add a school of mollies just to breed in there and do their thing. And I'll probably add, um, it'll probably be one or the other. I'll either do some like a trio of bumblebee gobies, a trio of emperor, emperor or empire gobies, I can't remember which one it is, or a trio of mollies, uh, two females and a male. Just to have something breeding, uh, water levels changing a little bit in that, I'm messing with the flow in this tank. Gotta fine tune it. But yeah, back to this tank. All is well. I'll grab another cricket and see if he'll come and eat that one, but yeah, that's just a little update for this tank. Come on. He's back over there, I think. Somewhere down there. 